Ah, I'm ending video. Yeah, it's been a while. Sorry about that, but, um, no, uh, you know, it's probably for the best. Uh, you know, you have better things to do with your time. So this is probably one of those videos you don't need to hear. Um, so I'm really not sure where it's going to go. Uh, this human relations kind of video. Um, a lot of different things have been going on. The last couple of days, well, anyway, the last couple of days, uh, you know, I had to end a relationship with people after five or six years or seven or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> it seems like forever. Um, but anyway, um, it, you know, just feeling abused in a sense. And just kind of started looking at it and saying, what the hell am I putting up with this shit for? Uh, you know, it's like I'm getting nothing out of it. Almost nothing. Um, and, um, yeah, and, and, you know, it's like the insult to injury thing, right? I mean, <laughs> the injury is you're stupid. You know, you're, you know, giving away a hunk of your life. Um, you know, and the insult is, <laughs> you know, you're, you're um, being treated like a, a field, um, you know, not even a house, um, you know. Yeah, so anyway. Um, being, being regarded. I shouldn't say treated. It's, it's regarded. Um, so anyway. So, I mean, I try to explain in some analogous way. Um, you know, but it's just this idea of, of, of relationships and friendships with people. And also just this whole attitude thing, how it just kind of leaks into your life. The, the comments section, for example, on videos. The comments are just, so many of them are just so rude and sloppy and obnoxiously stupid. Off subject and just entirely, what the fuck do you exist for, you stupid cunt? Um, you know, I, I was cutting the grass today. I was just, I was thinking... You know, if somebody suggested we had, let's have concentration camps and, you know, throw the trolls in them, I'd be all, I'd vote for it. Say, sure, let's go find trolly assholes, little potty mouth retards who can't take anything seriously. You know, mostly these glib motherfucking, I don't know what they, I don't even, uh, you know, who knows what kind of asshole life they live. Um, uh, you know, I, who knows, you know. I mean, they all have to hide, um, except for things like gray text, and you see what kind of life he's living. He dresses up as a woman on the weekends and such. Not that you know, there's anything wrong with that, but I think he does it just to make fun of women. But anyway, um, that's a whole other subject. <sighs> Trolls. Uh, anyway, um, so... You know, and I was just thinking of just in the sense that I, the other day, like, you know, I, I just I'm having this little trouble with people. And I'm, you know, working on thinking of how to resolve this thing so things don't, you know, trying to keep Humpty Dumpty from falling off the wall. But I'm reading comments and I just, I, I realized how, gee, they're just pissing me off. And, and now I'm, I'm going to go into this situation and... I'm probably going to carry the piss off that they put in my head to the situation. I'm not going to be able to separate the, this little bit of frustration they're causing me with this other frustration. I'm just saying, and look, you know, so in a way they are. They're just fucking with my destiny in a way. Um, you know, just kind of ruining my day, so to speak. <laughs> fucking with my capacity. Um, to be um, the better person I could have been if it wasn't for these assholes. So anyway, this sort of came up because the uh, ghost of the day, uh, something or other, did a video where she sort of was talking about her subscribers and commenters. Um, you know, and, and you're, you're, <clears throat> you're sort of feeding off of this, this medium in a sense. Um, you know, hoping for rational feedback. And, um, you know, it's just very disappointing when you don't get it. <laughs> you know. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? It's, you know, it's the Internet. It's the, it's the human race. And, and I guess that's what it comes down to. You're just like, wow, there's just so little people. There's just so few people worth investing in. I mean, when you look at the two top candidates in the Republican Party, I mean, lunatic and double lunatic, Whoa.
I mean, it's just, you're just saying, what? 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 I mean, it's kind of funny, you know, Donald Trump, he's, <laughs> you know, his, his favorite book is the Bible. You know, apparently he didn't read the part seven times, it says in the Bible, you know, the odds of a rich man getting into the kingdom of God are those of a camel going through the eye of a needle. I guess he thinks ten billion dollars still isn't rich. But it does have that, you know, the Old Testament, she's, he must be in love with that part, because that's where all the kings come from. You know, kings made by inheritance. You know, they inherit their throne. <laughs> you know, owning the sheep. Owning the most shit. And then lending it to the poor. Uh, for usury. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. A lovely world. Um, anyway. Another subject altogether. Um, but yeah, so you're saying, what, what are you investing in with people? You know, these, you know, I... I just found out, you know, I, I, you know, over the last few years, I, I've ended up getting invested in people, in these people. And, you know, part of the investment is, is that, you know, I'm, I'm working for subprime wages, so to speak, you know, helping out because, you know, they're, you know, they're supposed to not be rich, <laughs> you know, but lately they've been acting like they're very rich, you know, there's always BMWs in the driveway. Um, you know, uh, and it's just, you know, this is, well, the other people own a BMW, so no slight to those. Um, it's just that, you know, it's, it, you know, you're just saying, what, well, I'm supposed to, what, I, you know, it's like, it's, I was thinking of an analogy being something like, you know, you, you have a wife, right? And, and so she goes to work and then you take the money she earns to buy hookers. And then, you know, the wife is kind of open-minded a little bit. She says, well, that might be even okay if you spent the money on hookers, but you should at least let me know what hookers you're going to. I mean, really skanky hookers, you know, disease-ridden things or something. I don't even get to look over the list of the hookers you're going to waste my labor on. And, uh, you know, so that's sort of the situation I was in. Is that, you know, I'm supposed to be, I'm doing this charity work in a way, um, helping out, <laughs> you know. And, you know, the helping I'm doing is basically going to be put in some professional contractor's, you know, pocket for some fucking white elephant luxury item. And you're just like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> this doesn't sound right. There's something wrong here, isn't there? I mean, I work for cheap so somebody else can get paid too much for doing too little and then doing it wrong. And I don't even get to, like pick how they waste the money I gave them essentially it comes down to I don't even get to I don't even get a voice you know in how they waste my labor yeah that doesn't sound right so and then it gets even more in cities I mean this uh, I mean people you know it, it just there's no point you know you're just saying well, you know like I say you're analy I'm analyzing what, what am I invested in I mean it's just it's just silly Investing my time in somebody else's life because I need to be useful. Well, that's not a good enough reason. Uh, you know, I mean, you should have, if you're going to do it, it should be because the person somehow deserves it or something. You know, and the problem is, you, you know, you help real poor people, and some of those are just the dregs of shit. You know, they'll just waste your money on booze and, you know, uh, porn. And you're just like, you know, fuck helping them. Um, or, or fucking puzzles. The hoarders, you know, next door. So, you know, I, I've only got through one one hundredth of the crap in their house. And it's, you know, there's like, there's thousands of puzzles. You know, boxes with puzzle pieces in them. And, and Christmas ornaments. These stupid ceramic-y frickin' light bulb in them thingies. Like millions of them. And I'm like, well, maybe I can, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I gotta figure out some way to sell them in bulk. I mean, they were probably all bought on sale because they're all ugly as fuck. Because you're like, you can't just throw that shit out. Like, what is shit? 
and the people smelled, and so, you know, everything smells, so I don't even know how, to, uh, what are they going to do? <laughs> baseball cards, yeah, a big ton of baseball cards, all slightly damaged. Uh, I wonder what I can get for a zillion baseball cards. Uh, anyway, it's a whole other subject. But see, what I'm saying is you can't, you can't invest in poor people because they're idiots. And um, it sucks investing in rich people because they just suck. I mean, they just turn you into a, you know. And that's no good. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's really hard to, you know, but the, the, I guess the, this is the, the, the point I wanted to make in this video. Somebody had mentioned, you know, because I kind of made a crack about love in the other video, and he says, could you elaborate on your birth? And I'm saying, well, why do I need to elaborate? You can't figure out that love is basically selfish. It's a selfish emotion. And it's only in these rare circumstances. Like, like you see, I could say I love the cat, but I don't really love the cat. It's just a weird kind of thing because, yeah, I just want the cat to be happy. I don't, and the cat can't give me anything. I don't like cats, <laughs> you know, particularly. You know, I mean, it's not like I can have a conversation. I can't talk to it about my problems. It's not going to buy me anything. It's not going to do any work. It's just a useless, stupid animal. But, um, you know, there's something, there's something lovable in that. I don't know what it is exactly, but so... I would say that there are those kind of relationships where you just care for something because it, it it's dependent on you in a way and, and nobody else will do it or something. I don't know what the I don't know what it is. But I I guess I would say that's my the most sincere I've ever been is feeding a cat cuz I don't get anything out of it. It's, and I don't want anything out of it except for the cat to be happy, not suffering. So it's just the not suffering thing that I'm winning. Like somehow I'm, maybe that's what I'm getting out of it. It's, some, it's, it's like the silence of the lambs, right? <laughs> you know, where Lecter says to her, well, you think if you save whatever, you know, the, the, the stop the screaming. And maybe that's part of it. If I, if I think if I can care for one little animal here or there, I can help little... I th I'm thinking that this is somehow going to stop the screaming or something, or the silent, you know, something like that. But anyway, back to the love thing. But yeah, otherwise, everything I loved, I loved in such a selfish motherfucking way. I mean, love for your parents is just bigotry there, so that one doesn't count at all. That's not even rational. Um, you know, but the rest of it was all just horny and desire and... And then friendships are always kind of complicated. Um, I'd say the sincerest ones I had were, you know, when you're a kid. I mean, because kids are more honest, I guess. You know what I mean? You wouldn't hang out with somebody unless they, unless you like them, you know. And, and um, in a way, there wasn't much except each other's company that you could get from somebody else. I mean, I guess there were kids that had better toys. And so you'd be friends with them because they had better toys or something. Um, can't say I didn't do that once in a while, but I'm just saying the couple of good friendships I had, they were just kind of sincere. And, um, I mean, I was thinking about that the other day just because it was just kind of, it's just kind of sad because those, I mean, it would have been interesting if you could, if I could have seen how those friendships would have developed. I mean, the two people I was friends with moved and, you know, that was it. And, um, it just would have been interesting just because we really worked close and it just would be interesting to see how our lives would have whether we would have separated anyway um you know uh, so anyway but so otherwise you're just left with yeah the most of the other relationships you always had some sort of either somebody loves you or you know likes you for because you have something to give them or you're useful you know, it's all it's so much graft, <clears throat> you know, and what binds people together. And it's so disappointing. That's what it comes down to, is what's in it for me. 
in, in some cases it has to be that way though because what are you invest what are you investing in, in investing in somebody else in a sense and if their need isn't real um, then you're just being a convenience wow <laughs> you know um, who wants to do who wants to be a convenience uh, and, and uh, so anyway, it's just kind of weird because, you know, I, well, I live in a town full of rich people, so, you know, it's the odds are the people you're going to meet are going to be, you know, kind of well off. And, and um, yeah, there's just not much I can, you know, you can't relate to them on some sort of shared interest way, you know. So it's, it's you know, there's only like four Democrats in the whole town. <coughs> Actually, researchers went to run, run for mayor, and because there were so few Democrats, I could all I needed was three signatures to get on the ballot. Um, but anyway, which is you know, it's kind of funny. Um, so yeah, there's no you know, there's so few people to invest in that have a you know common interest, and you know the, the people you end up helping are people who would have you living in a cardboard box if they could have it their way um, you know they would ruin you <laughs> you know if they, if they actually had the world they'd want to create you'd be in the concentration camp um, you know and, and maybe vice versa so you know and that's that's a weird circumstance to say okay yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have a r friendship or a relationship with it another human being and um, you know it's it's like these people you know they're you know it's, it's you know they're they're all this right-wing politics you know and they have a um, you know a lesbian daughter and you're just like and you're just saying how does that how does that make any fucking sense you know yeah sorry yeah I guess you know I don't see how that's, I don't, that, you know, that seems to me to be something I, I, you know, I haven't lived through it, so I don't know what it's exactly like, but I'd have a real hard time if my parents were voting, <laughs> you know, to essentially have me thrown in the concentration camp for being a homosexual or something. That would be just like, what the fuck? Fuck you. Um, you know, how retarded are you? So anyway, yeah, you know, the guy actually, yeah, you know, I actually got asked the other day. You know, he asked if I believed in God, <laughs> you know, and I almost wanted to say, "What? Do I look like an idiot?" <laughs> you know, what, 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 what? You, you too stupid or what? You retarded or something? Fuck. I mean, maybe you're dumb enough to fall for that shit. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't even have anything nice to say. You know, because it's people have just gotten too ludicrous. And, you know, from my perspective, I mean, I'd only ask an imbecile if they believed in God. I'd, I'd be presuming they must be pretty close to an imbecile, so I might as well ask them because they must be an imbecile. Uh, so, so anyway, um, so the other part, I guess, is the um, uh, recovery. Yeah, <laughs> recovery. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's upsetting. You know, to, you know, have conflict with people. You know, I, I, that you've had an investment. To, you know, like I said, this is a pretty big investment of my life over the last few years. You know, um, my concern and my worry, and just the raw fact that, you know, I, I've um, extended myself. And, um, you know, to just say, oh, gee, that was all just wasted. Ew. <laughs> you know, that's just, uh, that's bleak. You're just saying, man, all those, you know, this hunk of your life. Um, you know, well, they never even appreciate it, you know. I had to walk a mile just to get to... my slave camp, uh, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, 
No, it's a lot of it's a lot of miles I walked, investing in nothing. I mean, what you know, as a practical fact, was nothing. So, um, yeah, it's just um, it's because. I, you know, big picture life is insanely stupid. You know, there's a little dead ant on my desk here. You know, I, I hit him. I, I feel bad, you know, just, you know. Because he didn't die. You know, ants are just so tough. And I just sat there and looked at it for 10 minutes. I just sat there and said, okay, I'll, I'll you know, I'll pay my respects here. And, and I'll try to understand. But there's no way. He's going to die anyway. <laughs> you know he's doomed, um, but you could you know just you know just the, the this is this is life on Earth. It's just this 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 you know this this is what we this is what we do. We we die over and 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 over again. What? To have relationships that are break your little heart. Um, to, 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 you know, have a life where you're invested and it all burns down, you know, earthquake takes it all. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I just, um, yeah, it's just bleak. <sighs> Hard and awful. These glib fuckers. Just uh, laugh it off. Ah, your kid's got cancer? Yeah, too bad. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't know. Also, they can, you know, you know, again, just put their spongy number one glove on and root for the home team. Yeah. Shit. I'm getting depressed again now. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so, you know. It's just, uh, not that I didn't have enough aggravations. And, uh, you know, I have enough little fetters. Uh, hurt my back. Um, bad tooth. <laughs> There's a lot of shit. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm just kind of buried under a bunch of, you know, crap. Obviously. Uh, obviously buried under. Uh, well, anyway. And, yeah, so it's just difficult. Um, to, um, get optimistic. And when you realize how. Yeah, I mean, it's just so hard to be optimistic because you're just like, well, gee, if you found something real to invest in, it would die. And, uh, it's all suck. I mean, you just, you know, you just mechanically mush through uh, the quiet periods. Just waiting for the, the fucking bullshit. And then you're like the ant, you're the your little herky jerky, struggly struggly blah, 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 blah. death struggle. That's all it is. Life's just one long death struggle. You know. Little crippling piles of shit. Anyway, sorry, it's a little dismal, I guess. <laughs> so I don't know if there's anything else to add. Um, but it is a, you know, it is something I, you know, I've thought about for years. But I just don't, I don't really have anything to say, you know. But it is, you know, just the idea of recognizing the crassness of most of my, what, what I, you know, what are generally considered good emotions, and but they're. It's all tainted, you know, because, 
yeah, the only, you know, ironically, uh, you know, Anna Conovod's so anti-guilt. And, you know, and, and I'm like, you know, maybe that was, that's the only time you're at your best is when it's, you're feeling some obligation. It's the only time you're doing something for a decent reason. And everything else is just selfish and, Grabby, <laughs> yeah. You know, what, what's in it for me? And he thinks that's the good emotion. What's in it for me? Yeah. So anyway, um, no, it's, that's it. That's it. It's just a, uh, you know, whatever video, put in whatever, <coughs> whatever, waste of time, whatever it is. It's, you know. Anyway, that's why I haven't been making videos. Is that I've just had too many distractions, too many other things on my mind. And uh, the good news is, uh, you know, I should be able to focus on other things now. And uh, we'll see what happens. Ah, uh, you know. Bad news is I still have to. You know, I have so many things I have to focus on. Well, finding a sustainable life. Anyway, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's it. Enough. So till next time. So before a big finish. Yeah, I don't have one. So you have to settle for. Little finish.